On Saturday, November 21st, I noticed the mayor of Indian Trail, Michael Alvarez, driving a town-owned vehicle that's used by the planning department. And on the side of it was a magnet that said mayor. And this was at about 11 o'clock in the morning and I saw him pull into a restaurant that he manages and um, so I grew a little suspicious about why he would have a town government vehicle on a Saturday. So then on November 22nd, Sunday, I decided to um, to investigate further when I heard from a witness that the same vehicle was spotted at his residence. So I went out there and I took video of the of the vehicle. It was dark outside, but I was able to get the license plate and the planet decal on on the back side of the vehicle. Inside the window I tried to get a look at the contents that were inside. There were some boxes. I couldn't tell if they were government or not. But it looked more more pedestrian than it did government. But the camera could not capture it because of the darkness. So then, in the near future, I plan on doing a uh, public information request on the vehicle when it was issued, if at all, and under what auspices. So uh, hopefully I can get some information on that. As a note, the same witness told me that about five hours later, after I had spotted the mayor drive the government vehicle to his place of, of work, that he also happened to see it at the restaurant parked in the driveway. So depending on the information that we get from our PIR, we'll have a lot of questions to ask of the mayor especially uh, what particular government function did he have for using this vehicle and for how long. And uh, we'll also see um, the duration from this point to see how long he has, uh, has maintained possession of this vehicle. So we'll keep you up to date. This is November 25th, 2015, and I'm going in for an inspection of documents. Uh, 
on uh, on the vehicle releases for the day and coincidentally I just saw the mayor of Indian Trail drive in hurriedly with a planning department vehicle which is the exact vehicle that I'm trying to find out whether or not he has authorization authorization to use it and for how long so now we're going to go in to find out these are the government owned vehicles of Indian Trail and uh, I don't know if this is the full full number of vehicles and uh, the vehicle that's in particular that I wanted to focus on is this one and you can see it's got the plan in on the back and there's a better view of the license plate that I got the other night and as you can see there's a box inside it doesn't look like this be the same box but it could possibly be the same ones that I saw Day. And then on the side where it says Indian Trail. Now when I did see it at at the restaurant that the, man, that the uh, mayor of Indian Trail, Michael Alvarez, that restaurant he manages, I saw a magnet on the side that said mayor on it. That's all it said. And so in particular I asked the new town manager what the policy was for signing these out whether staff and elected officials had the same policy to abide by and um, and I asked them about you know the policy for the duration that they could check them out longer than a day for a week weekend and uh, a particular concern is whether or not people that are working for the government are using it for personal purposes, things that are not town business. So I'm taking a little bit of an inventory of the vehicles here and uh, the new town manager said that she will send me by email the policy and that I'll be able to uh, inspect the documents on on the ledgers or the forms that they use to sign the vehicles out. So that's it for now. Here at Town Hall, public inspection of the November 2015 calendar to see who used the vehicle when it was checked out. And I asked for a policy, and they don't have an act policy written up on who can use it and when and for what purposes and uh, my concern is about fraud, release and abuse. So um, here you can see the whole month of November and I'll be asking some questions about this in the near future.